Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Uh, before we jump into the video, I just want to say, you know, a quick just thank you to everyone that checked out the community holiday card video um, and all the people that were involved in it. Thank you so much for taking a few seconds of your time to record a, you know, quick little, you know, clip to send to CDPR and the Gwen community. Uh, it means a lot to me and the messages that I got from people from CDPR um, they, they were super appreciative of it. I, you know, I'm the type of person that I don't consider myself like a big streamer or somebody that's, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just a, I just enjoy playing the game. I, I love Gwent and I just wanted to do something nice for CDPR. So I started sending out messages, you know, about a month ago to, you know, record a greeting, you know, something you want to wish, you know, happy holidays or Merry Christmas to the Gwent community. Um, so for the people that did take the time to submit those, thank you so much. Um, I know I didn't get everybody. I did reach out to some people that, um, you know, it's the holidays, man. Everybody's busy. Um, I get it. You know, it's, uh, I, I, I sent out, I can't even count how many messages. I reached out to over 300 people to, uh, record a greeting. So, you know, um, they probably see my name is like, who's this guy? And chucked it in the garbage. But, you know, I just uh, I just wanted to do something nice. Uh, I feel like CDPR does a ton for this this game and this community. And most other companies would have bailed on this game a long time ago. So I just wanted to say, you know, I, I just wanted to do something to show my appreciation. So uh, cheers to you guys. I, I just, I, I just, I love you guys so much. I really do. You know, I'm not... Like I said, I'm just, I'm just very thankful for this community. So, cheers to you guys. But uh, today's video, this is a bonus video from me and uh, Anasama. Uh, the other games they were kind of like Nilfgaard games, so we played a couple more to see if we can get something that's. Uh, you know something a little bit different um i'm actually really surprised with this list the first time i played it with me and wasubi i just think we were running into maybe bad matchups or just people had all just drew really well or something but i've, I've been playing pretty well with this list i'm not gonna lie uh so i've i've changed my tune on the second wind uh, deck um i'm not gonna go through all the cards uh, check out the ladder leverage for this week with uh, Anasama, episode number 43, man. Um, we're catching up to episode 50, which is uh, super cool. Um, I'm just, like I said, man, I'm just super, super grateful for each and every... I'll give you another toast, man. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm on vacation. I'm just, I'm, I'm just ear to ear grinning because you guys put it there, man. So thank you so much. Here's a game. Blooper at the end. It's got a little bit of a frame issue, but I think you can still appreciate uh, maybe 10 seconds of bad frames. But cheers. I'll see you at the end. What did we get? Ooh. You've got the heart of a great. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Drop the Freya, huh? Or do we keep it in this mm. game? Uh, we we'll keep it. I think. We drop the stunning blow or the. I think we can drop the the Leeweon. Ah. Uh... I think now we can kick the Freya. Oh, I mean, yeah, okay. That, that's pretty solid hand. Like, we can just play the boat, right? Go messengers first. I mean, yeah, that's true. Like, I, I think firstly playing Crow Messenger is better, just so that we can get some units on board, so that if he plays assassinations, they are weaker. And also, we can make sure that we played all our druids first and don't break into them later on. So we play the boat in the middle next? Oh, we stun. No, I think first. 
we will play the. Yeah, I think we we kill that with stunning blow now and then play the the crow do it. <coughs> Ooh, Giga Scorpion, huh? Yeah, pretty sure. I figure that's a trade up, right? That's an engine. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, like, we, we are able to play six or seven. Oh, we're like six more cards into this round, so. So we get a druid? Yeah. Back's acting up again. Do we. Well, either way, the lamp. We're, we're gonna play more cards in this, right? Yeah, yeah like, we can wait with uh, our five bonus <laughs> points. Next, we play the boat. Uh, yeah. I think we'll play boat, priest, boat. and then bear. Yeah, and then we can play the other druid. Right. Yeah, we can go pretty deep into this round. Oh shit! Yeah, played. like, like we can basically play every card except for our scenario into this round. So we go boat here. Uh. I think we first play our. Uh, freeze onto the poisoned crow just so that we can take its points. What about like if you what if he's playing? Well, if he plays the thing that screws it over, okay, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. We uh, like we just pop the lamp. There. I mean, that's fine. It, it dies to assassination if we don't. Oh, yeah, true. And now we like. Minimize the damage or the points he can make with another poison card while maximizing our points. If he plays a rot tosser, we eat it up with the bear, huh? Yep. I mean, we could also play just the other priest and kill the rot tosser or the ghost cow, whatever. Oh, he just poisons that one. That's fine, right? We don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, do this. So now we, we play the. Now we can play the Drakkar next to priest and then. We can play the bear and then the wood, and then as our last play for this round, we can play the other priest. You passed. Yeah. That's that's okay for us. Yeah, it seems good. So do we bleed them? We do, right? Yeah, like we all kind of, I think, always want to bleed. Just so that we can make sure that we have our Aramion combo in Graveyard. Okay, uh, I think we can kick the Delirium. Ooh, there she is. Nice, nice. Do we kick the bear or do we keep the bear for Rot Tossers? We have a Priest though. I think we kick the bear just to get something like... <laughs> or another bear. So we go Crow Mother. Yeah, Crow Mother into the other druid, and then we can play. Uh, and we want to get Ermion in the graveyard, so we got. I mean, in general, we just want to play him this round just so that he ends up in graveyard, so. We play him now? Uh, <laughs> No, I, I think we play just our uh, druid first, like the the wholesome point. druid. Yeah, like eight or five <sighs> colored card. <clears throat> then we go Ermion. Yeah, I think then we can play Ermion for. Ooh, that's good. Okay. So he plays it where here. Okay, that's perfect. We just play our priest, right? Exactly, like three points. Please, yep. Accept our sacrifice. Then we play Ermion in the boat. 
right? Yes. Whoa. Quark, keep. Into. I shall flog them into submission. Poison. We don't have the purify, unfortunately. I mean, that's okay for me, I think. I think we can just play Ermion now for Freya and play the other priest and play next, left to, uh, next to the poison right. priest so that he right here, uh, loses huh? value. Yeah. Wait, we play it here because we're going to play the priest on the crow mother, right? No, no, we want to play the priest on the other priest. Because then he damages the poison priest and the poison priest won't be as high. Oh, I got you, I got you. Gods protect us. I understand, These sir. Her who is virgin, mother and crone. They have our loins! <clears throat> and then next we can play the bear and potentially damage the poisoned uh, priest. If he didn't kill it yet. Well, he's gonna play, uh... What's his name? Yep, Morale. That's great for us, like... A dagger. <laughs> Where's the challenge? So we just ping the priest, right? Uh... I think the... It's probably the best action, the second best one would probably be to damage or to kill the Ermion just so that he can steal it with a Sreas. But yeah. since he didn't play Sreas already, I think he doesn't have him, so we can just damage the priest. Like, you, you both wanna, are fine. Like, you I wanna risk Ermion it? You think he's sitting on it? Honestly, I give you the. It's your game. You have to. I'm doing it, man. I don't want to. I don't want to lose our win condition. <laughs> <laughs> And then next turn we play our Morgvak onto the King Cobra and uh, then we queue out of the round and then I think we should be able to win. Yeah, I mean he's got to come up with eight. That might. This might be a super calculated bleed. He might be using his leader ability here. And he's going to get I mean... stuck with a... <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! Here we go. He's going to get his carry over now, son of a bitch. That's not enough, though, right? That's only eight? <coughs> I mean, let's see what he gets. He might have rolled if a bunch lucky, of shit. He gets, like... Yeah, I mean, like, if you get just bronze cards, it's easy for us. He got it, but he doesn't have enough, uh, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's enough by two points. Because it's, it plays oh, with yeah. 10, I think, right? No, yeah. He's short. Oh, no. Did it across the top two points? Yeah, okay. I mean, that's great for us. We take the pass. And, yeah. That's beautiful. That's like, beautiful if he has right two good there. cards left in the sand, like, this is very, very good for us. Oh, yeah. Man, I mean, he probably just fins out a bronze uh, tactic. Okay. He gets rid of the poison. So he, that's telling me he's low on poisons. Yeah, I mean, like, he, uh, he played. But we got last, say, 30 points, right? I mean, we should feel yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, like, depending on what our, our other cards are. That's good. Go into. That's good. What's a, the Royal Decree pulling? Ermion or a bear? Gremist. Gremist, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, like, we can mulligan once the ship, I think. Because we can just play it with uh, Royal Decree as well. Or oh, Resurrect one. No, I think we have to mulligan now. Like, we, we want the Freya in deck for Ermion. That's alright. So he's got yeah. a ball. Let's dance, dance till the sun sings its so he gets double yeah. poison automatically, right? Yeah, I think we just play Chris now and get the boat out of our graveyard. How can I help? Not 
Madame Freire is patient. Take the boat, huh? But she brooks no insult. Yeah, because then we can play the bear on the boat. I maybe should have played that up here. Potentially, but it's okay. I wanted it we to still... live in case he does have an assassination, but he doesn't because Triss only pulled two specials. Yeah. Hopefully he's got another rot tosser. That would be hilarious. He gets two poisons I in mean, one turn, right? Didn't he play both rot tossers already? Like one the first round and one the second round? Yeah. If I he guess he can play another one with uh, Vigo. What yeah. is truth if not an illusion? He didn't play his leader ability. We we use Royal Decree, right? Yeah. From your Royal deck, Decree right? and then play Ermion. Gremist. Yeah, yeah. Gremist. I mean old facts anyway, right? Right. That is your brilliant mate? Truly? And then we just pass and let's see what he does. He gets a bear. He gets to hit this. Boy, he's probably regretting that. I would have used the leader ability right there. Okay. Oh, wait. It's... It's... No, it's... Be just forward. Let the hunt begin. Feeling a bit peckish. So he kills the Gremist. So we just play the bear on uh, Drakkar, right? Yes. Alright. His last cards, uh, he played Cupbearer already. Swears. Dead Swears! <laughs> oh, shit. Easy. I mean, that's an easy win for us now. I like the combo. Yeah, I mean, the, the combo is great. And <laughs> it's just like this mini explosion that you have for like 30 points or so. Bow before modern prayer. Yeah, it's nice, man. That's huge, man. Let's see, make a big bear. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. There's your answer to poison. Very cool. Very cool. All right, that's the bonus of uh, bonus leverage this week, guys. I wanted to get another game out. You guys like Skellige? I'm having a hard time with it, but Anasam is a master, so we 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 let him pilot the ship. We just uh, we just swab the deck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh once again mr anasama thank you for uh co-opting with me sir i appreciate it no problem and uh we'll see you guys uh tomorrow with something new i shouldn't have did that he gets to get all his guys out so that's he had it either way. So that's six. He goes up to... 15. Yeah, we should have played this first. We have no, we have no spender. That's only one. But he still gets it. That's a shame. He loses one point. All he needs is a four. Shiru. Wait. Who am I to kill? <laughs> <laughs> we actually played around Shiru doing that. <laughs> Sometimes lucky.